Tonight, as we come on the air, I have to tell you the truth. Sri Lanka is in a really tough spot. Economically, our country is undergoing a dire situation due to the COVID pandemic. We all know the, its impact. However, the very reason things are tight is nothing to do with economic policies or strategies. It's everything to do with what's happening in the world right now. There's a pandemic, and on top of that, there is a war. So instead of looking at 10, 15, 20 years down the line, the government is challenged with applying much needed fixes to solve problems right now. It's like our ship is indeed sinking. That's a fact. Instead of talking about how to build an ark, we need to find the closest plank that's floating around and hang on to it with our dear life, hoping that the plank can carry our entire weight. How we got here is a useless conversation because we are already here. So instead, the most prudent thing to do is to figure out what we can do right now to solve the issues and how it will impact our path ahead. I've been saying on this show many times that if you look at everything that's occurring in this country, it's evident that negativity rules the day. Today, switch on any news channel, any news program, each and every problem in the nation is on display. Now, what's, what's the missing fact on this? We have the complaining, but where are the solutions? Solutions being communicated to the people, that fact is indeed missing. We are a democracy, meaning how, uh, we have a governing party and an opposition. The governing party's job is to, well, simply put, govern. Ensure that its citizens are provided with the best po possible life that they could have in this nation. This is why candidates develop vibrant manifestos during elections, asking the people's support to execute them. Now, on the other side, the opposition's duty is to pretty much showcase potholes of those plans and get the country on the right track. So both sides are doing one common thing, working for the betterment of the nation. Is that the case here in Sri Lanka right now? You may have seen many recent articles and headlines about one of India's immediate neighbours being on the verge of bankruptcy. That's right, the island nation of Sri Lanka is facing a deepening financial crisis. Diesel, ne, petrol, ne, kiri, ne, gas, ne, behet, ne, current, ne. For Sri Lankans panicking to purchase petrol, it may seem like they're watching their economy crash in slow motion. Sri Lanka is facing its most severe financial crisis. Well, we can see the opposition doing their job of showcasing the potholes of the plans of the government. So where's the government's response? That's the problem. Why we see so much of negativity ruling these days on our social strata is because the people in power have simply forgotten to do one thing that's necessary, key and quintessentially important to the, uh, to the growth of this nation. Respond to the criticism. While the leaders of this country are working tirelessly to solve the problems of this nation, the people appointed to do their PR game is sleeping. Let's take a simple example. Currently, there's a lot of conversation about the economy. You can see people who uh, are part, of the, part and parcel of the erroneous economic policies now sitting in the opposition and giving failed economic advice one after the other. Anything that, that is being done right now, for them, in their eyes, it's wrong. Well, in order to respond to this nonsense, to bring clarity, to bring understanding to the people, the responsible institutions are failing to do their part. The leaders are kept away from the people rather than putting them right in front and clearing doubts in people's minds. At a time of crisis, 
The truth is what matters. Look at all the world leaders. Former President Donald Trump was taking media briefing after media briefing on the onset of the COVID pandemic, dispelling rumors and bulls that were said about America. Right now, Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, is on television 24-7 responding to the West, ensuring that his people gets his message. And on the other side, the Ukrainian president, Zelensky, wearing a simple t-shirt, he's on TV all the time, speaking to the people, ensuring his countrymen, knowing what's going on. Leaders communicating to the public and responding to criticism is a must. The PR goons and their stupid response these days here in our country, oh, we are not going to respond to those criticism. Really? What does that do? Give more time and space for the bull to take shape. See, in the final months of the Yahapal joke, ministers of that government did many things and they said, hey, we did a lot of work, but it has never been discussed in the media. We they, they agreed and they said and they accepted that we failed to communicate it. But we did a lot of work. Of course, they did a lot of work to bury this country in a lot of debt and misery. But they did agree that they failed to communicate appropriately. And this government too has passed experience of its inability to communicate, costing them everything. This is precisely what happened in 2015 when President Mahindra Rajapaksa sought re-election. He was accused by the Yahapal near joke, left, right and center. We now know that it wasn't the truth. But what did the people responsible for communicating the president's message do at that time? Went on ranting about how much development they did in the country instead of responding to the criticism. And in the end, the lies won due to the absence of the truth. And that cost this country heavily. Right now, this government too is doing the same thing, failing to correct the errors out there. And because they were unable to do so, the bull by the opposition rules. Listen, in times of crisis, people of this country need to know that their leaders are not shaken by the current situation or are overwhelmed by the current problems. They need to know there's a plan and that we are going to be okay. We need our leaders to give us a sense of security. We need to see our president visually on the ground telling the people that he's tirelessly working to ensure that we will get out of this crisis. If that is visible, then the people will do their part in weathering the crisis, knowing that their leader, the leader they elected is still fighting for them and not listening to the bull spewed by the opposition. Unfortunately, the people responsible for making that happen, the PR teams of our leaders, the so-called media units, uh, media coordinators within these ministries and offices are failing miserably. And due to their inability to do their job right, negativity, misinformation, fabrication, and falsehoods rules. I mean, we were promised uh, with White House style uh, press, daily press briefings, right? What the heck is that? There's a state of the art media uh, center built for the president's office, but the media briefings? Well, that's messy. If the president, the prime minister, the government and the rest of the ruling party lets this slide and allow the bull to rule, then don't be surprised when the people decide in 2024 based on that bull. It's time for clarity. It's time for the truth.